Okay, now that you have a basic introduction of how HTML works, let's look at the code we wrote in the previous video and try to understand that code better. Now, the first thing you want to discover about that code is that we wrote this doc type HTML code, and this is actually a declaration that tells uh, whatever browser we are working with that we are writing an HTML5 document. So this doc type declaration actually says, hey, I'm writing, this is an HTML document, and please interpret this document as an HTML document. The second code that you see there is the HTML tag, or the second tag element that you see is what we call the HTML tag. And this is like the root element. It is inside this HTML that every other content for the site is housed. For instance, you will notice that in this simple code that we wrote, everything that we created for this web page is actually housed in between this starting HTML and this ending HTML. And that makes this HTML tag to be the root of our uh, HTML document. That's the root element of our HTML page. Now, the next tag that we talked about here is the head and the head tag. And you can see the head tag starts and the head tag ends. And you would notice something very recurring in these tags. These tags actually have content inside them. So you have this HTML having all these contents before it ends. And then you have the head and the head tag, that's the starting head tag and the ending head tag, having inside it these as its content. And then you have the title tag, which determines what is displayed in the title bar of the browser. And then it has its opening title tag and its ending title tag. And inside that title tag, you have the content of the title tag. And then you have the body tag, which is the body tag element. And in that body tag, you have the start body tag and the end body tag. And everything else is the content of the body tag. Now, the body tag is one of the most important tags when you write HTML documents because anything that would be visible on the web page has to go inside the body tag. Whatever it is you want to be visible would go inside the body tag right here. So it's important that you put any content that you want people to see inside the body tag. The next kind of tag that you want to really see here on this page is what we call the H1, H2, H3 tag. And these are just for making headings. So this, this makes headings. Like if you want to write a headline, you want something to be large, bold, and visible, then you can wrap whatever content you have written inside the heading tag. So you have heading one, which is the biggest. H1 ends H1, H2 ends H2, H3 ends H3. And you have that. So if you have content inside your body tag like this, then it means that all you need to do is know what tag to apply and what, how to apply those tags and you can build out your HTML document. So what we are doing, what we are seeing here in summary is that most of the HTML tags that you write would come in pairs. In pairs in the sense that when you start a tag, and you have you start the tag, then that tag needs to end because there's content inside that tag. So you are wrapping your content around the start and the ending, or you are wrapping your content with the start and the end tags. So you see the content inside the HTML is wrapped between the HTML start and the HTML end, the content between the Heading tag or the head tag is wrapped between between the start head and the end head tag and so goes for the body. But before we close for this video, let's look at one more tag. There are some tags that don't have content but do something 
on your site. And sometimes those tags do not have an ending tag. We call those tags self-closing tags. An example of such a tag is a tag that you use to break your content into a new line. For instance, HTML has a, as a rule does not have formatting. You can't do formatting with HTML, but there are times when you need to really do formatting. So for instance, if you write my first web page like this, my first web page uh, from the concept of web uh, text editors, you expect that when you save and refresh, then my should be there, first should be under it, and web page should be under first. It doesn't work like that in HTML because HTML does not understand formatting. It sees everything as a straight line. So you need to now introduce something like a break tag to say, okay, please break this into a new line. And then when you save this, you would see that if you save, you now have a new line. So a tag like break tag, which does not really have any content or it is not wrapping any content, will not have an end or closing tag. So unlike title that has an end tag which closes it out, something like break will not have an end tag. So you just do break and once you save, you find out that your content is broken into a new line. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.